Well, g'day guys, welcome back to yet another episode. In today's episode, you're gonna be joining me here from this beautiful beach here on the York Peninsula. I've got a fun action-packed video ahead, so don't go anywhere, and I'll catch you very shortly. today. In saying that, I'm going to be running a bit of a new jig from Yamashita, something like that. So it's a bit of a pearl white with a few light blue stripes on the back there. And I reckon in conditions such as this one today, it could just do a bit of potential. I'm not sure, I'm not promising anything, but in saying that, I reckon we might just be with a bit of luck. But who knows, let's see if we can't go catch a swim. see how we go I'm using a size 3 squid jig so even though it's it is quite windy it does sink pretty fast but time will tell I guess what an absolutely stunning sunrise can't really see too much of it behind the clouds and whatnot but it is still absolutely awesome got one. Big one. It's a good squid. That is an absolute cracker. Look at the size of that squid. Check out that for a squid, guys. Look at the size of that one. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> thank you. Well, there we have it, guys. After about two hours of casting, I landed that awesome little squid. Probably may be about a 25 centimeter hood. Really good size, actually. And that's on that little Yamashita as well. Beautiful little jig, and I just managed to lift him up. So he will be dinner on the fire tonight. Hopefully a few wraps on the beach, but that is what we came for. Absolutely awesome. Oh, I don't need to hand it. Well, 
I got the one squid. That one there is going to be tea tonight. Hopefully cooking up on the fire. A few fish rats, or I should say squid rats really. I reckon it's going to be awesome. But I do hope that this wind sort of backs off. It is predicted to sort of back off just a little bit in the afternoon. So I reckon it should be alright. And I dare say the wind direction will change as well. So I think we should be in for a good afternoon. But for now, I'm going to hop in the car and hopefully head further down the Yorks. And see what we can This little squidly right here is gonna be my dinner. It's actually not a bad size either, but unfortunately, I only got the one. I lost one, but unfortunately, I didn't get it on tape. But it is what it is. I got one, so I'm happy. But in the meantime, we'll hit the road and see what else we can manage. Well, how cool is this, guys? I've just arrived where I'm gonna be camping tonight, and I literally have the whole beach to myself, this whole stretch. Isn't that absolutely awesome? Just seclusion at its best. The sun's just starting to go down there. It's just getting on five o'clock now, and I'll show you guys my setup for tonight. I've pretty much set everything up just how I want it, so I've got my deck chairs and whatnot. I'm gonna have the fire pit around here. I'll get cracking on that shortly. Then I got all my little utensils and whatnot there. Um, swag with everything else. Esky with tonight's tea being the squid we caught earlier. And I got all my fishing gear over here. And then I've just gone and done a little bit of a beach comb and found a bit of rubbish and whatnot. So I'll take all that with me. Bit of an interesting little boy there. Then I've got all this bit of driftwood here that I pretty much gathered from just around this area. So that'll get put to good use tonight. But in the meantime guys, how awesome is this? Like. I don't even I don't even care that I'm not really fishing. Look, the water is really murky. It's almost like a chocolate colour. Um, so we're not the best for fishing. <laughs> but in all honesty, guys, it's just such a nice change. Just getting away from everything for only a couple of days. I came up here today and I'm pretty much sleeping the night. And then do a little bit of fishing tomorrow. Just a little time away. But honestly, you don't realise how much it actually helps you. And I think that's the biggest thing as well. Like, fishing itself is one of the best things for mental health I believe you know like what what other sport do you know that you can come to a beautiful location like this and just kick back relax bit of camping sit by the fire and just enjoy yourself it's just absolutely awesome and to think that we've got all this within an hour two hours of drive of Adelaide and even down south as well just makes me think why would you want to live anywhere else <laughs> But in the meantime guys, I'm going to get this fire sorted, I'll get a few coals burning and then we'll clean that squid and hopefully get these wraps done because I am absolutely starving. So I'm just going to create like a little small bed just to get the embers burning and then I'll come through and just pop all the big ones on top and that should get it going. Put these to the side. Once it starts to rage a little bit, we'll whack them on. All right, let's see if I can rejuvenate it. Yes! There we go. Come on. Whack that on top. The debris. There we go, guys. There we go. We finally got it. Now it's just, just burning perfectly. What 
but I'd love to take this time out to tell you guys about something that I've been working on for quite a while. I've mentioned it in my other videos as well, but I recently opened up my own sort of website in regards to my YouTube channel. And on this website, you can see sneak peeks, behind the scenes, footage, that sort of thing. And I've also released my new range of merch as well. So it's been out there for a little while now. Um, but if you haven't yet seen it, feel free to jump over to my website. I'll link it in the description of this video. And feel free to purchase a the shirt. There's not many left, especially in a few of their popular sizes as well. So get in quick. But if you don't want to do that, if you can like this video, that would be more than appreciated. But stay tuned, because I really do want to start building my own sort of merch range as well. And just something on the side from YouTube as well. All right, now to prepare that squid. And if we have a look in here, a little sausages just in case, but we don't need that because we got the squid today. That's actually a good size one. I was pretty happy with that. Surprised I didn't get more though. Lost one at the base, didn't get on film, but it is what it is. All right, first things first, whenever I'm cleaning a squid, if you get your fingers behind there, and you can almost just feel it separate. You go all the way down the back and almost just, just negotiate it out. Just like that. Come on. There we go. And all those guts will stay within. And that's the ink sack as well. Thankfully for me, it's all clear. <laughs> oh, actually, tell a lie. Spoke too soon. But that one there is beautiful mully bait. So I'm going to keep that for later. This whole sack here can go yeet. <sighs> into the ocean. Clean my hands in this water here. Oh, <laughs> not very clean now, but oh well, it is what it is. Now, as far as getting the wings off, get your thumb down the back or index finger as well, and you can literally just separate that skin out of it. And you can almost get the wings and the tube out in two separate pieces without having to break it off. Let's see how good I am. I haven't done a squid for a while. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. Oh yeah, look at that, beautiful. So that's our tube there. Now there's a little bit of skin and whatnot here. You can go, go back with a knife and clean that up later. There we go, just break that connection between the two. And if you grab the beak just like that and just pull it, you can almost pop that tube inside out, which I didn't do. <laughs> and then what I like to do, just to clean all the gunk out in the middle as well, could sort of create like an air bubble and push her in. There we go, we're getting there, almost done. Beautiful. There we go. Now you can see all those, all that little excess bit of gut and whatnot. You can literally just clean that off, just like that. To the fishies. And then in our bucket of water, this white jumper is gonna be black by the end of this, you watch in our bucket here, just clean it up, just like that, get all that excess gunk and skin and whatnot off, insides are pretty much done, and that right there guys, is a beautiful piece of squid meat, so all I'm going to do with that is literally just cut it into tubes, something like that, just down the middle, and that will go perfect on our beautiful little wraps, all you want to do, you'll find that at the start of the flap here, they've got quite this hard, almost like a bit of cartilage, I'm pretty certain it is a bit of meat, but you can almost just pry that skin off there, just like that. There we go, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. And it's literally just a matter of pulling it until it all comes off. And if you can't get it all off, you can literally just trim it off. There's no biggie about that. Beautiful, and there we have it, a nice piece of wing. All cleaned up there, there's a little bit there quickly break him off, pop him in, and there we have it, beautiful. So same sort of thing with this, I'll literally just cut strips of it, just into bite-sized pieces, and I'll do the same with the other one, and we'll get cooking. Alrighty, well I've just cleaned up my table as a good cook would. Now all I'm gonna do, I probably shouldn't be chopping on a pesky lid, but it is what it is. Just clean off that end there. And then I'm just gonna cut little segments. Some people like them a little bit thinner, some people like them thicker. I like them sort of around a centimetre and a half, maybe two-ish, yeah, give or take a bit. It all depends, it doesn't really matter too much.
last car. Bang. All right, there we go. That is all of our meat, guys. There is a lot there, and I didn't even utilize the whole squid as well. So that goes to show how much meat's actually on them. Now I'm going to show you a little trick. Probably seen it heaps of times. In this little um, Ziploc bag here, I've got plain flour. Actually, I reckon it could be self-raising. Um, salt and pepper. Plain, simple salt and pepper squid. We'll put it all in the bag there. My mate Jameson taught me this one. Actually, you might have even seen it in, um, when was it? Our last camping trip to the Yorks. When we went with a few, when I went with a few of my mates. Oh, <laughs> that's no good. <laughs> We did this sort of technique and it was absolutely beautiful. So we get this sorted here. Light coat. I reckon that should be perfect. Alrighty, there we go. So I've just popped this little grill type thing over the um, top of the fire, almost as like a stove as such. So I'm just gonna base that bottom, just shallow fry them. We'll get that oil heated. That is perfect. Exactly what I want. Well, that sounds like it's starting to bubble away, that oil. So I'm gonna grab my little squid pieces here. Perfect. Perfect, exactly what I want. Not too hot, that they'll burn straight off the bat, but just perfect so they get that nice colorization on them. That's exactly how you want them. Perfect. There we go. How good does that look? Probably should have dipped them in egg before, but that's just me being a little bit lazy. Perfect. Yeah, probably should have. Oh, that flower's starting to come off. As you can tell, I'm a pretty good chef. I reckon they're almost done. You don't want to overcook them too much because then they'll go really rubbery and hard and it's not very nice. Alrighty, this batch here is done. Cool, cool. Put them in another pan. <laughs> That's camping for you. So, I thought I was going to be pretty inventive. Well, not really inventive, but a bit of a nifty little life hack or camping hack I dare say as you can see it didn't really work um a lot of the flour is actually in the oil itself but oh well it looks it looks cool when it hits the oil so that's the main thing I guess so I'm just gonna cook them all up and we'll get plating shortly well as you can see I've just finished cooking up all these good here and they smell absolutely delicious so Actually, I should probably, I might even, man, let's go like that. All right, cool. <laughs> Saves us from all the mosquitoes and whatnot around here. Now, anyone that knows me 
knows that I absolutely love my avos. I think it's just a mandatory statement, a mandatory piece on wraps. Beautiful. Oh no, I just ruined my majestic cutting skills. Oh well, we'll save that one for the other one. All right, cool, let's get into it. Oh, I've got one thing. The tarte sauce. Need to have the tarte sauce. All right, cool. Straight down the middle. Bang, bang, open up. Oh. Bang, what's mine now? How many wraps do I want to rip? I just ripped half the packet. All right, I got no plate. Well, actually, that is my plate, really. To be truthful. Just lay them like that. Oh, yeah. Looks too good already. Oh, no, the bugs, no. So many bugs about. I think I might have a few bugs in mine. Before I actually get to eat it. All right, cool. Let's wrap that over quickly. It's just... Okay. <laughs> There's so many bugs around the light, it's not funny. Let's just mush that on there. Oh, well, a bit of protein. And then finish it off with the creamy tate. Oh, that was so unnecessary to put that much. Or was it? Yes. How good does that look, guys? Are you kidding me? Let's wrap her up so these... Bloody flies don't get any closer to it. And then we have it. After all our hard work, labor, and effort, we have finally come to the finished product. Beautiful little squiddly wrap. I'm gonna sit down by the fire and just enjoy the fruits of our labor. Well, here we go. Cheers, guys. I'm gonna quickly tuck into this and enjoy this fire. Mmm. So good. It's so fresh. That's the biggest thing. Like you can honestly taste the freshness in the squid. Like it's just, it's not chewy. It's nice and tender. You know, oh, beautiful. I mean, this is what it's all about, guys. And I look, I got one squid. Tried around Edithburg, I didn't really get anything, so hence the fact I didn't really film it. And to be completely honest, it doesn't even matter. Just to like, just listen to that ocean crash right beside you. Beautiful fire going as well. I couldn't think of anything better. Oh, yeah, I could actually get rid of these bloody bugs. <laughs> but apart from that, it's pretty nice, I must say. Have a go at that sunrise. Well, it's day two here in the Yorks. It's just early morning at the moment. You can just see the sunrise just behind those dunes over there. I almost want to jump up here and show you guys. It is absolutely stunning out here. Dead flat. What a place to wake up to. The rainbow starting over there as well. And ending over there. Oh, I want to see the full one. That would be awesome. How's that? absolutely stunning but in the meantime i'm going to start packing up my gear and hopefully we'll head somewhere else <laughs> 